guys welcome back to my craft room so today we are doing a canvas a layered canvas which is one of my favorite things to do <laughs> I don't do it nearly as often as I should because I just love making them but it's very hard to find a home for them um, because I don't really like to share them <laughs> That sounds so bad. <laughs> They're just so cute that I'm like, oh, should I really give that away? <laughs> but this one is going to stay with me. It is not going anywhere because this is one of my favorite layered canvases I have done. Mainly because it's bears, but <laughs> I just love bears. Um, so this layered canvas, I started out with a green bottom for the grass and I just tore some colored cardstock and then I started with or er, I started with the green layer and then I moved on to the top section which I did a purple like a kind of a pastel purple and then a blue like a true blue and then navy and I figured that would give us a very good um not quite night, but not sundown. <laughs> so maybe like a very moonlit night. I think that would be the best way to describe the color scheme of the night sky that I have going on up top. But basically I just tear sections of cardstock and I... <clears throat> It's almost like a puzzle piece. You just kind of see where it fits and where it flows. And that's where you kind of ultimately just have a free for all because there's no right or wrong way to place this. <laughs> so I use a mixture of white Elmer's glue and just water. But if you do not feel comfortable making that ratio to get it to a consistency that you like to put down your papers, then just use Mod Podge. It works wonderful, wonderfully. I just don't like to have an extra bottle in my house that I could, you know, be using some other space for something else. If you haven't know, if you don't know, my craft room is very tiny. <laughs> so you know, I might as well pick and choose where I'm making products and where I'm not. <laughs> So this actually is a collab with a few lovely creators, and this is brought on by Ren Around the Moon, which she is a wonderful artist. She does a lot of polymer clay, um, and this is the Jump Into July Hop. So I will make sure to leave the description or leave all of the links to everybody's channel down in the description, so you can see what they are making and everything's going to be a kind of a deep in the forest kind of theme <laughs> so hence where these trees come into play right now these are actually some Christmas trees <laughs> I had a Christmas tree die cut um, well it's a die and then I die cut uh, some Christmas paper out of it and it's just pine paper like it was a close-up of a Christmas tree and I decided to just die cut that the Christmas trees out of that paper rather than just cutting out my own trees I kind of took the lazy way out <laughs> but it ends up being so much faster and it really gives a great look to the canvas you'll see it's really hard to kind of eyeball what's going to happen with the canvas because of all of that glue but once it you know dries oh it's just beautiful <laughs> and you know it, i could have done a different tree instead of a christmas tree but because this is going in my home <laughs> and i love christmas i kind of like that hint of you know i know that it's a christmas tree die so every time i look at it it's gonna give me a little spark of joy just like mm -hmm. they don't know that it's a Christmas tree <laughs> whenever anybody looks at it <laughs> so now for the images that I use these are free digis that I create sometimes um, 
they go on my Facebook group now. So if you are interested in, you know, receiving these free digis, just go on over to my Facebook group, join, or if you already are joined, then head on over to the photo album. Um, I'll probably have it under the summer di free digis section. Um, but I really wanted to create some bears. <laughs> and then I thought a little camper would be so cute, you know, in the forest. And I just, I'm loving campers right now. <laughs> you know, tiny homes and whatnot. Um, so I did a bunch of alcohol marker because with the Mod Podge, the fake Mod Podge, her, <laughs> um, I didn't want anything to smear. So I decided to use alcohol markers. And I did a blue... Um, turquoise and then purple and then I did a yellow with an orange to make it a little bit look like it's almost gold on the camper and then I did uh, just some browns for the bears and then for the fire I do a red an orange and then a yellow and I just kind of flick it kind of like how you would think fire would just kind of flick. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I think it's coming across okay, but sometimes my words aren't the right ones. <laughs> but it's really interesting because my husband always corrects me because I make up certain words to that kind of associate with the word that I'm trying to say. But yeah. <laughs> so then I go ahead and take all oh, this beautiful pattern paper from Michael's and it's the backyard table that I've been working on. Um, I just pull it out for a few projects here and now and I thought this would be so pretty to put in as curtains for the camper. So that's why when I did the gray on the windows I only did a certain um, section of it because I knew I was going to be putting curtains on so why waste the you know the pigment if I'm just going to be covering it up. So <laughs> that's why it's it looked a little funky before I put the curtains on. <laughs> but the um, curtains, I just used some more of that fake Mod Podge. <laughs> and I just tore it. And then I kind of just placed it where I thought a drape would occur. So it would be thicker at the top and then kind of billow out. So I just tried to find or even just rip pieces that would fit very nicely in that little section. So then I go ahead and fussy cut out my images and I wanted to leave a white outline because this canvas is very busy. So I wanted to make sure that these images really came across because one of the things we are going to add to this canvas kind of draws away from the images so I really needed those to pop on their own be their own star <laughs> you'll see here in a second why I say that word <laughs> so then I just go ahead and place some more of that fake Mod Podge down and then I just put the image down and then place some more now I would recommend using an acrylic sealer because with the thing we are about to add, you're going to be flipping the canvas back and forth to turn it on. So I would recommend doing that just so you, it doesn't snag on, on anything. It doesn't get oily from your fingers and whatnot. And, you know, just in case something goes splattering. <laughs> that always happens <laughs> you can just wipe it off and it will be protected so I go ahead and trim trim all of my edges to make sure that they aren't hanging over but you could just wrap it around and make sure to add layers of the Mod Podge and then that will keep it on the sides but I wanted to leave the sides kind of just white so that when I do my lights you can see the 
glow through the sides of the canvas, kind of. So on the back and the front, I'm just poking through with a, well, an X-Acto knife and also a pokey tool that you would use to poke a hole for a brad. And I have to keep going back and forth between the um, front and the back to make sure I'm getting a really good um, kind of section that the light will shine through. So I am using just an LED um, string of lights that I got from Amazon. They were pretty cheap, so <laughs> I wasn't expecting much, but man, do they glow. <laughs> so I just glued down some elastic and then I just slid the little, uh, the operation box or the battery box. I'm not quite sure what that part of the thing is called. Not an electrician. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> so then I just take all of the lights and string it out across the top part of the canvas. So that way the holes that we poked, the light will shine through and it'll look like stars. And it looks so cool. So then I turn the lights off, make sure that the stars are where I want them to be and as many as I want there to be. So if I see that one patch is not glowing as much as the other, I'll just go in and make some more holes and it's easy peasy. <laughs> so then once I have all of my holes done, I decide to go ahead and just take some gold paint because the holes kind of look a little funky once you get them poked and it's just kind of like random when the lights are off or when the battery operated lights are off but the light the actual lights are on <laughs> hopefully that makes sense <laughs> and then i just do some splattering as well to make it look a little bit more like stars in the sky and i think it turned out so awesome i am so happy that it you know it came out to be what i wanted it to be and it's going to go really great in my room <laughs> and it's going to be one of those pieces that I'll probably hold on to forever. So, but that is my collab and my layered canvas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a crazy day. Good, crazy, not bad, crazy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.